Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's your buddy Orange Hat here. So, uh, I'm here to update you all on the Hannah Gutierrez Reed trial, which is going to be part of the playlist to the uh, Alec Baldwin Rust shooting news. I have an entire playlist dedicated to that, which I will leave a link up in the uh, card above. So, Apparently, during the trial of Hannah Gutierrez Reed, which is still ongoing, ammo expert who supplied Rust set says he only provided dummy rounds before Alec Baldwin shot dead Helena Hutchins, as the court is also shown pictures of his chaotic offage or office storage system. So, yeah. Um, let's get into this, shall we? This is coming from the Daily Mail. Uh, the ammunition expert who supplied the rust set only provided or set only provided dummy rounds to the production. He testified in courts as jurors were shown pictures of the chaotic office storage system. Seth Kenny, an Albuquerque-based movie firearms and ammunition supplier, took the stand Monday at the trial of movie armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed who is charged with involuntary manslaughter and evidence tampering and the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. The evidence tampering, folks, is not that she screwed around with the gun or anything. It's actually she asked somebody to uh, hide drugs that she had. So, yeah. Alec Baldwin, the lead actor and co-producer of Rust, fatally shot the cinematographer on the set in 2021 and has separately been indicted on charges related to the shooting. I will also be covering that in July when the trial starts, folks. The outcome of Gutierrez Reed's trial may hinge on testimony about the source of six live rounds discovered on the Rust set, including one from Baldwin's gun. Live ammunition is expressly prohibited on movie sets by the industry and union guidelines, and yet union workers were... Uh, very much distressed and were walking off the set, leaving the set and uh, leaving the whole production because they felt unsafe because somebody was actually plinking with uh, live rounds. So moving on, the outcome of Gutierrez trial may hinge on testimony about the source of live rounds discovered on the Rust set, including the one from Baldwin's gun, live ammunition, or, or, whoops, I already said that. Kenny told the court that he had cleaned and repackaged ammunition to rust that was previously supplied to the production in Texas, handing off a box of 50 inert dummy rounds containing no gunpowder to the film props supervisor on October 12th. 2021, but defense attorneys for Gutierrez Reed 26 showed the jury images of Kenny's cluttered business, a storage system without written inventories, and highlighted his hazy recollection of the timeline for receiving live rounds for another production. So here's some photos of uh, Helena Hutchins, the woman who was shot and killed. And here is images of Kenny's cluttered business, a storage system without written inventories. Now, um, this is a dangerous thing here, but however, if you ask me, there is this box that says dummies. However, other things are not... Um, <laughs> are not labeled I can or that is clearly shown uh, yeah if there's an inventory list make sure that you get it Kenny told the court that he cleaned a repackaged ammunition to rust that was previously supplied handing off a box of 50 inert dummy rounds containing no gunpowder Pictured are scenes from the inside of Kenny's cluttered office. Well, I mean, yes, this does, in fact, look cluttered. Uh, Kenny testified Monday that he provided prop masters Sarah Zachary, who also managed weapons and ammunition for the production, with dummy ammunition retrieved from prop storage truck, or truck 
on the set of the television series 1883. Did you ever give any live ammunition to Sarah Zachary? The prosecutor to Kara Morrissey asked Kenny. He responded, no. Responding to additional questions, Kenny said he didn't have the ammunition that looked like the live realms investigators found on the set of Rust. At the same time, Kenny acknowledged he stored live rounds that were used in a live ammunition shooting exercise for actors on 1883, arranged at a private ranch series or of series creator Taylor Sheridan. So he ha or his company does handle live rounds, folks, but it also handles dummy rounds. So there is a reasonable possibility that a or a few or a handful of live rounds found themselves inside of those dummy round boxes is basically what they're getting at here. Kenny said the live rounds from the shooting exercise were brought back to his shop stored in a bathroom with gray plastic container marked live rounds on the inside. The live rounds were initially provided to 1883 by Gutierrez Reed's stepfather, the Hollywood sharpshooter and weapons consultant Thel Reed. Investigators from Santa Fe's Sheriff Office searched Kenny's Albuquerque supply shop several weeks after the fatal shooting, seizing live rounds that were sent to the FBI for analysis in comparison with the live rounds discovered on the set of Rust. These are more uh, photos of the clutter. And 38 Special. These are the... Uh, pictures of the crates with the live rounds apparently so yikes man defense attorney Jason Bowles has argued that Kenny wasn't properly investigated for his role as a rust supplier this photograph from Kenny's office was shown to the jury dummy rounds 45 long colt LC um, highlighted the fact that the search of Kenny's business took place about a month after the fatal shooting picture dummy rounds Stored for the supplier's office. Hannah Gutierrez Reed, center sits with her attorney, Jason Bowles, left during testimony in the trial against her in First District Court, March 21st, 2024, or March 1st, 2024. Uh, defense attorney Jason Bowles has argued that Kenny wasn't properly investigated for his role as Russ supplier. Bowles on Monday highlighted the fact that the search of his business took place about a month after the fatal shooting. Kenny's testimony delved into the disagreements with Gutierrez Reed about her job performance on the set of Rust in connection with the gun misfire prior to the fatal shooting. I also do remember hearing about a misfire, folks. I do believe I may have reported on it. If I didn't, that is my own failing. Uh, it will be in the playlist that I put above. So, testimony Monday also delved into the evidence related to the tampering charge against Gutierrez Reed. The charge stems from accusations that she handle or handed a small bag of possible narcotics to another crew member after the shooting to avoid detection. A crew member from food services testified that she went to Gutierrez Reed's hotel the evening after the fatal shooting to keep the armor company at the request of the of a union steward. She said Gutierrez Reed handed her some white powder in a plastic baggie within another baggie and she felt insulted and threw it into a hallway garbage container after leaving the room in fairness you probably have or had five seconds to look at this bag is that right said bowels the defense attorney you have a belief but you don't know for certain that what was in the bag and yes a person can easily say you are right i do not However, I would also counter that um, why would somebody have small or white powder in a small baggie? Are they planning on using it for a flare-up in their production or some shit? I'm sorry, but the only time I have ever seen this in this sort of context was when it was displaying drugs. Uh, jurors were shown a video shot during the production in Rush in which Alec Baldwin or pointed the gun at the crew and cast members, including a 12-year-old boy, between scenes. 
Uh, Baldwin 65 was lead actor and the producer in the movie will face a separate trial for involuntary manslaughter, which he denies. This is the, uh, oh yeah, this photo here, folks, is basically her posing for a shot to uh, put on her card. From what I hear, I believe I covered that in a uh, video, I believe one of the live streams that are also attached to the playlist. Prosecutors say Gutierrez Reed is to blame for unwittingly bringing live action or live ammunition on set that she flouted basic safety protocols for weapons handling. She has pleaded not guilty. Defense attorneys say their client is being smeared unfair and unfairly scapegoated for problems beyond her control, including Baldwin handling or Baldwin's handling the weapons. She is the safety and she is the freaking armorer and prop person for the gun or for the freaking guns she was told to train alec baldwin and she even requested additional time so yeah it is her responsibility in or baldwin's handling of the weapons is also her responsibility she was supposed to train him now it's also his responsibility because he denied to be trained So, uh, yeah, Baldwin, 65, was pointing the gun at Hutchins during the rehearsal on set in Santa Fe when the gun went off, killing her and wounding director Joel Souza. He was separately indicted by grand jury last month on an involuntary manslaughter charge in connection with the fatal shooting of Hutchins. He has pleaded not guilty, and his trial is set for July. So, yeah, folks, um... This whole case right now is showing that she may also be guilty, which obviously is also a part of it. I mean, I have also reported that there have been several um, misuses or safety corners being cut on the Rust set, including people who were much more... Um, much more experienced in prop handling than Hannah Gutierrez Reed that turned down the role. So they uh, recommended her. And well, she had only been on one other production before that. And not only that, she also screwed up on that production as well. It was the old ways with uh, Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage excoriated her for uh, misusing a firearm on the set. So, yeah, so far, folks, where did the ammo come from? And I will be giving you further updates as they come in. Um, so far, this is the only update, but day by day, I will be checking the uh, news for any updates, and I will keep you all apprised. So, thank you all for tuning in. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think that uh, Hannah Gutierrez Reed is also going to be found guilty? Or will be found guilty? And maybe Alec Baldwin also will be found guilty? Let me know all your thoughts, folks. This has been Orange Hat. Y'all have a wonderful day. And always remember to stay humble.